If you spend any time in downtown Rochester, you may have noticed this black fence around lot 19. This lot is now the staging area for a massive project going on in the Franklin Heating Station. This building is now ground zero for a carefully orchestrated operation to secure Mayo's energy needs in downtown Rochester for decades to come. At a glance, the project Brett Gordon and Jeffrey Stein are shepherding doesn't sound like a big deal. One of the first projects to come out of our master plan was to replace these boilers. But consider the size. Uh, those those uh, weigh about 220,000 pounds. Times four. We're going to replace all of them. And you find yourself planning a massive project. It took uh, years of planning. Uh, this will go for three and a half years. But the significance of the boiler replacement project goes beyond sheer size and planning effort. The Franklin Heating Station is, a, is kind of the focal point of our utility operations. It provides all of the energy needs for all the buildings downtown. There's uh, almost 9 million square feet of heated and cooled space. This plant provides steam, chilled water, electricity, both no normal power and emergency power, along with other things like compressed air, pure water, things like that. The Franklin Heating Station has been a workhorse for Mayo since 1928. Dr. Plummer, when he designed the Plummer Building, also wanted to make sure that he had a reliable energy source and electricity source for the state-of-the-art building at the time. So he also pushed to have the Franklin Heating Station built at the same time. Just two years after the plant came online, a fourth boiler had to be added to meet Mayo's energy demand. In 1930, Mayo leaders celebrated the success of the plant with a special dinner inside one of those boilers. It's really amazing. The current boilers have been working around the clock since the 1950s and 1960s. We're just to the end of life, so we're refreshing this, and then by refreshing it, we can increase the efficiency of the boiler and we'll gain some capacity overall. The demolition phase is now in full swing. We're right on schedule. And carefully sequenced. These two boilers are going to be difficult as far as removal because they don't need an outside wall. So the, they have to kind of come apart component by component. As you pull off the outer skin, there's layers of insulation and brickwork that now need to come off. This is tubes from inside the boiler and they're taken and cut up in very small chunks so we can get them hauled out in this tight, tight area. These are uh, waste bins that get loaded with each component from the boiler as it gets demoed. And then as we demo that, then that gets wheeled over to the door and then taken out to the waste bins. But even in waste, there is value. This will all be sold and recycled and then paid back to the project. The boiler replacement project also includes the consolidation of two control rooms into one. That will help our operators uh, work more efficiently. Two of the boilers will be dismantled like you just saw. That's right, and the other two boilers are close enough to this outside wall so that crews are able to break a hole into it and swap the boilers out that way. It'll be a sight to see, but it won't happen for another couple of years. The project is on track thanks to a dedicated plant staff and construction crews. The logistics are just enormous. And even though Jeff has worked at the plant for 41 years, this project will leave even him amazed. And I had never seen this part of the boiler ever opened up until until now. So what was your reaction when you saw that for the first time? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's interesting to the materials that they use compared to what we would use today. One thing that hasn't changed is how the plant generates energy. This plant was built as a cogeneration plant, so you you generate steam and electricity at, with the same same fuel uh, source. One unit of fuel, you get two units of, of energy. Uh, we've continued that tradition all the way through today and enhanced it, and we hope to keep pushing forward with that into the future too. The new boiler should keep the plant set for the next 50 to 60 years. I, I intend to not be around for the next boiler. <laughs> That's right. And with Jeff and his team, the operation will remain in good hands. Oh yeah, 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 it's my life. <laughs> I can't say enough for our operating team and the job that they do to keep this place running reliably, resiliently, and efficiently every day, 24-7, 365 days a year. It's really amazing. In Rochester, Axel Gumbel, Mayo Clinic News Center.